The film is called Obsession, Radical Islam's War Against the West. It's a fascinating and chilling look at the parallels between Nazism and modern Islamic terrorism. Rafael Shore, one of the film's producers, joins me from Jerusalem, and Noni Darwish is in Los Angeles. She was featured in the film because she grew up in Gaza, and her father led Fedayeen operations against Israel until he was assassinated. It's an honor to have both of you. Rafael, I want to begin with you talking about the comparison between radical Islam and Hitler's Nazi regime. I think a lot of people look at this, or those that have seen this film, and think, wow, we have not learned from the past, have we? It's, it's really the case that we have not learned, and that's what Hel uh, Alphonse Heck says when we have him in the film. He was a, a Nazi youth officer, and he is the one who points out that while Nazi Germany is finished and they repented from what they did, the, the, uh, the Arab and Islamists, the radicals who were in Berlin at the time and grew up and learned from Islam, from the Nazis, they never changed, and they continued the battle against the West. And Noni, you lived this. Exactly. I grew up in the Middle East for 30 years. I uh, heard all the uh, propaganda of hatred, and uh, it's happening again. The same propaganda as Nazi Germany is happening across the Middle East by radicals who want to keep the hatred and dehumanization of the Jews. And uh, to them, they have reduced a great religion to just an ideology of hatred of Jews across many mosques in the Middle East. We learn so much hatred, it's embarrassing to even repeat what's being said by some religious leaders, some political reader, leaders, in our cartoons, in movies, in schools. And Noni, learned, Noni, growing up, what did you learn? What did your father teach you? Your father fought against Israel. He led Fedayeen operations there in Gaza. Was he teaching you hate? No, my father was a soldier, and he, uh, he was doing what most um, uh, Arab soldiers did, which is uh, invade Israel and kill Jews. But it's beyond the military. It's uh, everywhere. It's in schools. For example, I was told, don't take any fruit or candy from a stranger because it, it could be a Jew trying to poison you. Uh, the Jews wanted Arab blood to bake their cookies. And we believed it. We recited jihadist poetry daily uh, while we were crying in school. Uh, wishing upon ourselves to die as a shaheed, to kill Jews before they kill Arab children. And uh, when you grow up with this kind of ideology, day in and day out, you really uh, believe that terrorism is okay, and that hating, uh, hatred is justified. And uh, uh, there are so many lies across the Middle East being taught right now to Arab children, and it's, a, it's really a disgrace that's happening today. The same uh, the same propaganda of Hitler is being done right now in the Middle East, across the Middle East. Let's talk more about that. I want to go to a clip that has the former Nazi youth leader that Raphael mentioned, Alphonse Hick, also talking uh, with a former PLO terrorist and what they said about the comparison between radical Islam and Hitler's regime. Let's listen. The fanatic Muslim world and Hitler both agreed that no ideology can exist be beyond theirs. It's all encompassing. A secular dogma like Nazism is less dangerous than Isla this Islamo-fascism that we see today. It's less dangerous because Islamo-fascism has a religious twist to it. It says God the Almighty ordered you to do this, not the Fuhrer, you know. So it is way more dangerous. It's trying to grow itself in 55 Muslim states. So potentially, you could have a success rate of several Nazi Germanys if these people get their way. Raphael, it's amazing to hear a former PLO terrorist say that what's happening right now can be even more dangerous than, than Nazi Germany. And just looking at the propaganda that you point out to in the film, looking at the comparison of how the Nazi propaganda and the Palestinian uh, extremist uh, propaganda, it's, it's similar. It's exactly the same images. Yeah, yes, and we point that out. And in fact, some of these clips are available at our website at obsessionthemovie.com. 
But the point that I want to make clear is that what we're showing in this movie is that this is a war that radical Islam has declared against the Western world. It's not just about Israel or the Jews, although that's an important subplot, but radical Islam today has made a continuation of the, of the Nazi past, and they have declared this war, and they are working against Christianity, against Buddhism, against gays, and all over the world they are attacked. What we try to show in this movie is that when you look around the world and you see separate terror attacks, it looks like separate things going on in separate areas. But we need to connect the dots and realize that it's in their eyes, it is one global jihad, one front in a global jihad against Western civilization. And that's what we try to show in Obsession, the movie. Well, and it starts with the kids. Let's listen to this clip. I think the worst form of child abuse is teaching a child to hate. What we have on Palestinian TV and on Saudi TV over and over again are little kids being taught songs, I want to be a suicide bomber. Oh, it's heart-wrenching. Noni, you've even made the point that, look, not all Muslims are radicals like this. Not all, all parents are teaching this, that your religion has been infiltrated by this hateful agenda. How do you break it, though? How do you start changing what we're seeing here among hundreds and hundreds of children? That's the million-dollar question. The Arab leadership, the, Arab, the good people in the Muslim world, and I don't doubt that the majority uh, of my culture are decent, good people, but they are not in power. They have to end this hate. They have to say, enough is enough. We should never teach our kids hate, because really, uh, terrorism doesn't only hurt the West and Israel and the non-Muslims. It destroys the moral fabric and goodness that I know exists in Arab culture and in Muslim culture. Uh, and it's, it's bad for even for moderate Muslims who are being oppressed and being threatened by radical Islam. It's an, a very horrific ideology that is tyrannical and it suppresses f freedom of speech, it oppresses women, and it oppresses even men, and it, it, uh, it's a tyranny. And, and, and finally, uh, you, points well made, uh, Noni. Raphael, just, uh, I encourage everybody not only to see this film, but just look into the history of this relationship between Adolf Hitler and, and Grand uh, Mustafa al Husani, uh, the, the Grand uh, Mustafa of Israel, and how they both came together uh, and talked about the extermination of Jews. They had the same goal, and that was world domination and hatred. I mean, this goes back decades. What do you want people to walk away with after they see this film? Not only an understanding of history, but what, do, what else do you want? I was actually speaking with uh, Bernard Lewis last week. He's the preeminent Islamic scholar in the world today. And he said that what is important for people to realize today, he said he was an, an intelligent officer in the British Army in the 1940s. He was more optimistic about a victory of the West then, after the Nazis had taken over Poland, Czechoslovakia, and France, than he is now of a victory of the West over radical Islam. And I asked him why. That's such a shocking statement. And he said, because then we knew who we were and we knew who they were. We were the Western world, which was freedom and democracy and individual rights, and they were totalitarian dictators who were trying to destroy our way of life. Today, he said, we don't know who we are, we don't know what we stand for in the West, and we don't know that there's an enemy that is trying to, it has declared war and is trying to destroy the West. And therefore, the first important message to answer your question, and this is what we try to get across in Obsession, the movie, is people need to understand that there is a war going on today. It's not something that we asked for, but there are people, just there was in, in the Nazis in the 1930s and 40s, there are people, and it is the minority of Muslims, like Nani says, but there are radical Islamists, and there are millions of them, who are trying to declare war and destroy civilization, Western civilization. We have to be aware of it and educate ourselves. That's the most important thing that needs to happen today. Well, you can definitely uh, get a, an un incredible education by watching this film, Obsession. Raphael Shore, Noni Darwish, I can't thank you enough for your time. Uh, the, the, the movie left uh, many of us speechless. We appreciate uh, what you've done.